Summer is in full swing, which means there are plenty of bugs around. Stinging insects send more than 500,000 people to the emergency room each year. Can you believe that? To help keep you and your family safe, Shane McCoy is here from Will Kill Pest Control with some advice. Shane, thank you for being here this morning, and you have some wonderful props you brought with you. Yeah, we have all kinds of critters here. So uh, bees and wasps, um, and not only are they hazardous and send a lot of people to the hospital, on a very rare occasion, it can actually have a severe allergic reaction um, that you may not have had experienced in the past, but sure. all of a sudden it can happen. So yep. um, these wasps are beautiful, but also they can be um, a real hazard for people. So we want to be aware of that and also prevent any kind of stings. And this one, this yeah, hornet's this nest, you said they can send people to the hospital. This one you actually found in the parking lot of a hospital. That's right. So. In the parking lot, it's about eight foot, is up in a tree. Um, somebody comes along, they park, um, maybe they bump something or they're, the vibration, maybe a lawnmower. Uh, and what wasps and bees do is they send out a pheromone. So maybe you just agitate one of the, of right. the hornets. Well, they're gonna send a pheromone that tells the other ones to come and attack you. So that oh. can be a, a bad problem. A lot of people, especially hunters, they may see these in the fall when the leaves are gone, um, but this one was found at a hospital in just a couple um, blocks from my house. It was built on a house. So not only on trees, but also high up on wow. uh, eaves and overhangs of homes. And within just a couple weeks, um, you could have a, a nest this large within a couple weeks. People are That's amazed incredible. at how fast they do build their nests. That is really fast. And I got to say, when I was about five years old, in the backyard of my house in some prairie, I was attacked. I sat on some old wood back there, yep. and I got some wasp stings, and they were incredibly painful. It's something I will never forget. Yeah. If you get more than seven, eight, ten or so, it can be a, a you may have to go to the hospital yeah. more than that. Yep. That's right. Let's talk about these over here. You bet. So a very common one here is what we call a mud dauber. Um, these build a, a muddy nest. These are solitary wasp. Um, the female inserts an egg. Um, they put maybe an insect inside of that mud tube. And um, that's a very common one. Uh, very, not, not very aggressive, though. Now, the most common one that we see, what we call umbrella or paper wasp, so as you can see on this one that the nest is exposed. Um, right. So they like to build these eaves and overhangs. That's where they'll build these nests. But this is a very common one. And when people treat these, make sure you treat these early in the mornings or later in the afternoon okay. because they're less aggressive. Here you have a bumblebee, another paper wasp, and one of my favorites is a mud dauber uh, wasp with that um, long abdomen. Those things yeah. are really pretty to me. Okay, so how can we protect ourselves from these? You bet. Bees and wasps. Uh, my daughter and I were at the zoo last year, and soon as she, and we were at the picnic. It was later um, in the summer, and she opened up that juice box, mm -hmm. and we actually had to leave. We could not stay there because yellow jackets were all around her oh. juice box, and you know you don't want to just swat at it or anything, but you just gently try right. to get it away from you. But we actually had to leave because they were so aggressive. And swatting actually provokes them even more. You bet. So you Somebody... really just want to leave the area calmly and quietly. Exactly. So leave the fly swatter at home. Don't swat at it. Like I said, that will send a pheromone to others to come attack you. They, they feel threatened by that. Um, you know, bright colored shirts, they are attracted to bright colors. So bees, they're, they go to flowers, the brightly colored, so okay. they are attracted to those. And perfume. And perfumes, the cologne, the, the perfumes. Um, go ahead and, uh, if you're going to be outside, if you're going to be entertaining, go ahead and don't uh, use those sure. products. And just like the, uh, the, the juice that my daughter and I were, were um, using if at home, here's a cover. Go ahead and put that over any kind of soda cans. And when I'm entertaining any kind of um, the pies, all the sugary sweets, go ahead and leave those inside or have those covered up. Shane, very useful information for us today. And if anyone has any questions, they can visit Shane at Will Kill Pest Control. You're based in Sun Prairie. Right in Sun Prairie.